Watching cyclists in the Netherlands and in Utrecht, you may sometimes wonder what exactly are the rules of the road. Yes, and as we said before, you may sometimes see Dutch cyclists exhibiting a certain flexibility with the law. As someone who is unfamiliar with cycling in Utrecht, it's always best to understand and know the rules of the road. So that's why we are here today at the Verkeerstuin, uh, which is the traffic garden here in Utrecht. And it's a place where Dutch children learn about road safety. If you're unfamiliar with the standardized or European road signs, it may be worth checking those out first. These are a series of pictorial signs which are used across most of Europe and mean that regardless of the language spoken in a region, you can understand what the signs mean. One sign to note is the no entry sign. In the Netherlands, this often features a placard below it. This placard means that certain road users, usually cyclists and possibly mopeds, may use the street in both directions. If there is a no entry sign without this placard, then the street is entirely one way for all road users, including cyclists. When you are approaching a junction, the first thing you need to do is to, to establish who has voorrang, or permission to go first. Sometimes there are traffic lights for this, but often there aren't, or the traffic lights are not operational outside of rush hour. By default in the Netherlands, traffic should always give way to the right in absence of any other road markings or traffic signal. The only exception for this is roundabouts. If you are unfamiliar with roundabouts, traffic already on the roundabout has priority over other traffic. So as you approach, you must look to the left and make sure that the route is clear. Always signal when you leave the roundabout as cars on and approaching on the roundabout have to give way to cyclists. At many crossings, shark's teeth indicate who has to give way. If the pointed part of the triangle points towards you, you must give way. If traffic lights are operational, these overrule the shark teeth. Remember, as a cyclist, you must always give way to pedestrians at pedestrian crossings or zebra crossings too. At zebra crossings, you should allow pedestrians to cross when they reach the curb. Finally, Dutch law places a strict liability on motorists in the event of a collision. This means there is a higher financial burden on the motorist in the event of an accident, regardless of who was at fault. So this is a very complicated law and it shouldn't be taken as a meaning that you can just cycle whenever recklessly and without any consequences. However, it rather means that Dutch drivers are often very used to cyclists and that means that they sometimes automatically give way to them, regardless if they have priority. As a rule, you should always wait for the right of way to be given to you and not assume that it will be given to you. You may sometimes see drivers stop when you don't expect it or you don't think they should. In this case, it's a good idea to make eye contact with the driver and wait for them to either signal for you to cross or wait for them to cross. Regardless of who you are, Dutch or international, you are unlikely to come out unharmed from a collision involving you and a bus, tram or car. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Doei! Doei.